Hi, I'm Frank Dolan of All for Sports and Fitness, and although we're usually out on the weight room floor showing exercises, in today's episode we'll be in here in the room doing some chalk talk and just showing you how to get the most out of your cardio program. A lot of times people in the gym will come in and do the same cardio routine every single day, day in and day out, and wonder why they're not getting any results. Um, they'll either come in and go too light every day, or they'll either come in, they may even come in and do things too hard every single day and overtrain. And, the net effect of that is no results. So I'm going to show you today a quick and simple way to design something for yourself so that you come into the gym and know that you're getting the result you're looking for. Whether that be for weight loss or sports performance or really anything, this is the most effective way to get the most out of your cardio program. So we'll start out by figuring out what your heart rate is. Everyone always talks about target heart rate and where you need to be training. Uh, on a cardio piece, whether that be the bike, the elliptical, the treadmill, whatever it is, it really doesn't matter. When I think of cardio, I don't think of a specific piece to work on. I just think of getting my heart rate into different ranges. So leave the concept of the elliptical is better than the treadmill or the bike is better than the elliptical or spin class is better. It really doesn't matter. It's just a stimulus to get your heart rate to a certain level. And what you need to know is where your heart rate needs to be. So to figure that out, simply what you'll do is calculate 220 minus your age. That's going to give you a number. Whatever that number is, you're going to take it and times it by 0.65. When you times it by 0.65, that is going to give you a percentage. It's actually 65% of your maximum heart rate. This is, I'm just going to write in there 65%. This is your low zone. Okay. To find your medium zone, we're going to times this number here by 0.75. That's going to give you 75% of your max heart rate. From there, we go to the high zone times 0.85. That's going to give you 85% of your max heart rate, which is 220 minus age. So from there, you're, there you'll be able to calculate your three different types of days. So amazingly, the board was able to be erased, and now we're going to be able to show you your three different types of days. Day one is a medium intensity day. So like I mentioned before, you have a medium zone, which is 75% of your max. On a medium intense day, you're going to spend about five minutes in a warm up. And then from there, that's five minutes, you're going to bring it up to that 75% zone, which is the medium zone. You can do that for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, just to keep things simple. Obviously, there's a lot of other variables that we could throw in there, but this is a very, very simple program so that you could do things more effectively than doing the same thing day in and day out. So from there, we bring it back down for a five minute cool down. That's day one. From there, we go to day two. Day two is going to be your interval day or our high intense day. Okay, so we're going to use that high intensity zone, that 85 percentile zone. When we go up into our 85 percent, the thing with 85 percent is you're never going to be able to sustain something for 15 to 20 minutes at your high intensity zone. When you go to 85%, we're going to do what's called interval training. So we're going to go, say, for another five minute warm up, just like here. But now we're going to bring our heart rate up for a short period of time, then bring it back down. Then bring it up for a short period of time, then back down. Then bring it up for a short period of time, back down. When I say back down, that's going to be at our 65%, like our, our low zone. And when we're here, we're at our 85%, which is our high zone. I like to keep a one to two ratio for beginners with this. So if you go 30 seconds here, we're going to go one full minute down here. And gradually you want to change that around so that you're at a two to one ratio over time as you build up your endurance. This is a great way to get a very, very efficient workout in about 15 minutes. You could do that five minute warm up, maybe about 20 minutes we'll say. You got a five minute warm up, 10 minutes of these intervals, and then you're going to do a five minute cool down to give you a total of 20 minutes where you're going to get more of a benefit out of this 
than you would get out of a long duration run where a lot of times people think of fat loss and weight loss being just working on long duration, light intensity, stay in the fat burning zone. Okay, the fat burning zone is a complete myth. Okay, the fat burning zone, yes, you're gonna burn more calories from fat, but you're not burning that many calories. So it's, a kind, of, it's kind of a trick. Here you're gonna burn more calories over time. You do a 20 minute workout, but you're gonna get the benefit of this workout for the next four to five hours because we have what's called our um, stimulus response after doing some high intense intervals. And I could go into a whole explanation of that, but just to keep it simple, let's stay with that. Then on our day three, and this is where people that take spin every single day, this is where they fall into the trap of training too hard and overtraining and not getting results, is that they never give themselves a recovery day. That's your 30 to 60 minutes at 65%. Nice light intensity, maybe do a quick warm up, do your 30 to 60 minutes, read a book, watch TV, just nice and easy so that you can recover from these two workouts so that you can go back and do it again the day after. Once again, this is a great way to get started on a very, very efficient cardiovascular program. If you've been coming to the gym and you do the same thing every single time you come in, try to incorporate this 220 minus age model. If you have been doing something similar to this or are pretty fit, you know, you've been coming here for a few months, um, the one thing with 220 minus age is that it doesn't work that great for people that are in some decent shape. So the one thing we do have here at the gym is the IMET cardiovascular assessment and that's something that we offer for a hundred bucks. It's a, it's a quick test to just get your, basically your anaerobic threshold measured. And once we find that anaerobic threshold number, we know how to prescribe to you the different levels that you need to train at, your low zone, your medium zone, and your high zone. Once we find that, and cross-reference it with your goals, we can print out a 12-week progression of all the different cardio days when you come in. Obviously, it's not the same exact thing every three days. Uh, it's a little bit more intricate than that. You're gonna get a lot more value than just a simple, simple thing every single day you come in. Um, it's something that we do with our athlete, athletic teams. Um, it's also the same system that's used with a lot of professional athletes. So, it definitely works. Anyone who's, who's done it and has followed the progressions gets results from it. So if you do have the opportunity to do that, um, please shoot me an email, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in doing. Other than that, I'm gonna sign off for this week and please stay tuned. We have our next blog talk radio show upcoming on Friday. So please stay tuned to the newsletter.